Hey everybody, Jay Teaserborn here, and welcome to another edition of my Batman the Animated Series Reviews. This time we're going to be taking a look at episode number 30, Perchance to Dream. This is an amazing episode, and if you haven't seen it, this is the first time I'm going to say just spoilers ahead. Spoilers ahead, because this is a very, this is one of the all-time best Batman the Animated Series episodes. In terms of my rewatching. This one is just taking the top spot in terms of my favorite episodes at the point of my rewatching because in a few short episodes it's going to be topped. But anyway, so let's go ahead and um, talk about this one. So the plot of this episode, Batman, the very beginning of it has Batman chasing some bad guys into some warehouse. Then all of a sudden it seems like he falls into a trap. Then he wakes up in his bed and then he sees Alfred there. And basically like he's like, oh, what happened? Where's Robin? Where's all this? And Alfred's like, what are you talking about? And then he decides to just go, like, he's like, what do you mean? Like, we're, Bruce is kind of confused, like, Alfred, why are you acting so weird? Then all of a sudden his parents show up, like, Thomas and Martha Wayne are there. And then Bruce is confused, like, wait, no, this, this can't be right. This, this isn't right at all. And they're like, and then Bruce try, comes to find out that, like, things are different around here. The Batcave isn't there. Um, he's marrying Selina Kyle. He's running Wayne Enterprises. He's basically been given the life that he's kind of always wanted. You know, he's got a happy life. His family is back in it. Uh, Selena's there. Alfred's all there. He's no longer Batman. He doesn't have to worry about that. He seems to be happy. But then, like, you know, he sees Batman show up, and he's kind of, like, wondering, like, hey, who's that? What's going on here? And then he starts to, like, wonder, hmm, Selena, does Catwoman ring a bell? And she's like, no. And then he goes and sees, like, Leslie Tompkins, who's just like, You've just kind of been handed things <clears throat> all your life. Um, you're just wondering that... You just think that you are Batman. And Bruce is like, you know what? That's fine. And he's like, you know what? Everything's worked out. The nightmare is over now. I can finally live my life. Then he seems happier than he's ever been. And then he goes to read the newspaper. And then he discovers, based on his dream, that he can't read anything. Because uh, dreaming and uh, reading are two different sides of the brain. So I think it was like the right side of the brain is where you dream and then like the left side isn't. What, what was it? I, the dream was the right side? I don't remember. <laughs> um, anyways, because, yeah, you get the idea. The dreaming's on the right side of the brain and then reading's on the left side. Or no, the reading's on the right side of the brain and dreaming comes from the left side. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I clarified that before I screwed that up. But anyways, he comes to find out that this is a dream, and then so he goes and calls out Batman, and then it turns out that Batman, he unmasks him, and he is, in fact, the Mad Hatter in disguise, revealing that this was a whole mad trap by the Mad Hatter, who said he was... And then, like, he come to find out that Mad Hatter was willing to give Batman the life that he's always wanted, just so he can keep... Which is actually a, kind of a nice thing to do, but just the circumstances, just to keep him out of his. Which, you know, most villains would just go straight up kill Batman. Mad Hatter was just kind of just like, look, you know what? I'll give you the happiest life you are. Just stay the hell out of my business. Which, you know, in hindsight, I'm like, you know what? That's actually kind of a nice gesture from a bad guy. But the circumstance of it against his will without him knowing, you know, that's not good. But you know what? Compared to what other villains do, it's not the worst thing that could happen. So, yeah, Perchance to Dream is an incredible episode. Absolutely outstanding. One of my all-time favorites. I think, like, just... This is, this is, um... This episode I read is Kevin Conroy's personal favorite episode. But this one is definitely one where I'm thinking, like, oh, man, the idea of Batman, like, being happy, you know, is kind of... is It's definitely something that was touched on in Mask of the Phantasm. But... And here, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's touched on, like, pretty well as well. So, yeah, I'm kind of losing my train of thought. But, yeah, definitely check out Per Chance to Dream. Um, one of the best Batman the Animated Series episodes. I know this one's Kevin Conroy's favorite. But, yeah, this one, this one here is one that I highly recommend watching. Um, it, it's just a really, really good episode. This one was uh, directed by Boyd Kirkland. I don't know, Paul Dini didn't write this one at all. But I just love the idea of Bruce Wayne having that temptation of his normal life and saying, no, this isn't right. Um, it's, it's not the way to go. But yeah, this is definitely one that I think you should check out. It's amazing. 
And, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll talk to you all later. Until the next episode. Bye-bye.